Harry Kane's family was really good. I mean, what's going on? I'm in the building waiting for some people to get in. So we're not going to do too much until some people get in. Got my cup. Got my cup ready. So what's going on? Let me know what's good. Let me grab my phone too. You got one on. I'm just waiting for a few more people to get on. Let me grab my phone. Got that. What's good, George? George, you all over the place, man. You be all over the place. What's going on, Dorian? What's good with you? Joseph, what's good, man? Hopefully y'all hopefully y'all was waiting for this um for this chat session. I don't know. <laughs> See if y'all waiting for this chat session, man. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, Holly Favor? What's good with you? What's going on, Mr. Williams? All right, we're going to go ahead and get in. I guess we're going to go ahead and get into the, to the discussion. Um, first, I want to say I appreciate all the prayers to my um, to my nephew, man. He's doing a lot better. I got, I got stuff all over my face. I need to wipe my face on, man. Let me get all this oil off my, off my face. Sorry about that, bro. Um, everything, everything good with him, man. So I appreciate all the prayers on that. Um, that was kind of crazy for me last Sunday. As soon as I got the air, I got that news, got that phone call. So that was crazy for me last Sunday, but everything, everything's better, man. So I definitely appreciate that. Um, yeah, the t-shirts I had up for sale. Um, I've sold a few already. Um, so yeah, these are, these are for sale. The, um, uh, the t-shirts are 20, I think they're 22, but that's only if. You don't go up to a 2X. What's good? Hey, I, I had a thing for Cliff. I had a thing. Let me, let me finish this, Cliff, and I need to talk about you. Um, now, the T-shirts is 22 unless you go up to a 2X, and then they, they're 24 because they charge me two extra dollars for each size up. So if you go to a 3X, it's going to be a little bigger. I don't know if they make four, five, and 6Xs, so we have to talk about that. Um, the, hats are, the hats are 16. No, they're 14. The hats are 14. So the hats are 14, and the um, and the shirts are 22, up to an extra large. Anything larger than the extra large is gonna be 24 plus. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I've already had a few hats and shirts sold. I'm gonna come up with some more designs, but I did like this one because it got that old school flavor. You know what I'm saying I, everybody do the same type of, you know, shirts and hats and everything. So I want to do. Some. You. It was a few more, but I'm, I'm thinking you were probably the first one, man. I have to figure that out, though. I'm gonna send you my number, Cliff. I got you on my phone. I'm at you. It was a few more, but I'm, I'm thinking you were probably the first one, man. I have to figure that out. Everybody got my number now, man. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put it on the on the chat. I'm about to hush this dog up because the dog keep. Zeus, stop all that. Guys, my dog back there whining and stuff, going crazy. Um, I'm gonna put it on the chat. So I can um, so you can get it. And Cliff, you, I actually want you to call in, man, if you got time. You know what I'm saying, so if you got time to call in, call in, Cliff. Cause it's 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 been a, it's been a minute since I talked to you. A long while. So let me see. All right, I just put it in the chat. So. What's going on, Salon? What's going on with everybody, man? What's going on? Hey, Tiger, Tiger Nation. Tiger Nation had my back a little bit. I'm going to the cup today. Tiger Nation had my back. He was in some fights with me, man. I appreciate that, Tiger. He went, he went to war with me a little bit against some of the LSU Mitches. I had some dude comment. I kept telling him, though, man, if y'all comment on the page today, if y'all comment on the page after the video, I don't want to hear you, so I'm deleting your comments. So I deleted the comments. So I don't care about them commenting anymore. Why you want the Gators to beat us? I hate the Gators with a passion. You know why I hate the Gators? Because they more Mitches than the LSU fans. That whole, that whole school. 
that whole school. I'm about to. Tatiana, come do something with Zeus before I, before I put the belt on him. So I put these paws to him. Before I put these paws to him. I hate, I hate, I hate the Gators because they ran from us, man. They scared to play us in a home and home, so they want a neutral site in Orlando, which is a home game for the Gators. So, I, I mean, I hate the Gators. I'm just being honest with you. I have no love for the Gators, man. No love at all. At all. They ran from us, and now they're doing, now they running again in a way to where they only want to schedule us in a home and, I mean, in, in, in a, in a um, neutral site game that's 20 minutes from their school and three and a half hours from ours. That's garbage to me, man. That's another SEC rule. That's another SEC garbage. And it's another way for the Gators to run from us. So I, I, I can't stand the Gators, man. They're a bunch of punks, man. They more than Mitches, man. I'm being real, man. It, it's not. It's sad, it's sad to me because the Gators don't want to play us every year. They ran from us. They run from us every year. That's what's sad to me. They're afraid of us. They don't want to play us every year, man. They could have been playing us every year. But go look at the history of it. They took us off the schedule. We didn't take them off the schedule. They took us off. They ran. Period. I ain't got no respect for them. None at all, man. Bunch of Mitches, man. What's good? What's good with you? What's good? I mean, and then I then I got then I got some people coming at me on some. Uh, you not as knowledgeable or as as maybe a Cam Underwood or somebody else. I understand that. Never tried to be as knowledgeable as them guys. I'm me. I'm trying to be somebody else. Got somebody calling in. Hello? Who this, Cliff? That's What's going on? I got you on the air. What's going on with you, Cliff? What's good, big brother? Uh, uh, not much. Just doing a lot of work. Yeah, I, I told people I couldn't remember who was probably the first person to subscribe to the page. Um, I'm about to go look at the first comment. But I'm pretty sure that you were like top three, if not the first one. I know it's probably between you, the wholesome one, and somebody else, but you were most definitely top two or three. I know for a fact, you, if not the number one first subscriber, man, besides my daughters. My daughter was the first, yeah. but I mean, outside of my daughters, man. Yeah, yeah. I haven't talked to you in a couple of years. Uh, kind of fell off the map. Uh, I got a new phone and, and a company phone and everything, so they gave me a company phone, so I, I went ahead and the old phone, I lost all my contacts because I did a factory reset because uh, I was going to sell my phone, but I never did, so now I'm trying to get everybody's number, and I've I seen your uh, video pop up on my recommended YouTube video, so I just popped on it, you know, just see what you were up to. Man, I'm glad you, I'm glad you popped back on, man. I hope you subscribe back. I hope you did subscribe <laughs> Um, I'm glad you popped back on, man. I, 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 you can go back and listen, look at a few videos, man. I actually asked about you, uh, probably about two or three weeks ago. I was like, man, I wonder what happened to my boy Cliff, man. I hadn't heard from him in a while. Uh, that was probably about, probably been a month ago. Serious, yeah, it crossed my mind, man. I was, and this was, this was on a live chat when I was talking about, I hadn't heard from you, man. You know, so I'm, I'm glad you, I'm glad you found everything. Yes, uh, Sunday I'm gonna be up towards your way a little bit. I'm gonna be uh, in Virginia for a year, so. Oh I'm man. Up you, there. Yeah, we gotta get up, man. Virginia's only a few hours away from me. I can I can be in Virginia, depending on what part you in. I can be in Virginia about three hours, man. Depends on what part of Virginia you at. Yeah, it's a good time to be up there because you know we play in Virginia and Virginia Tech, at, you know, up there. So we gotta have some some fans up there representing. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little tailgating this year. You know, I'm gonna I'm I'm travel to a few spots this year, only if people will help me out on the travel costs. I'm, I know I'm going to Atlanta because Atlanta's only a few hours away, but I don't think Virginia's too far away too, so I can drive that and be back home that same night. It wouldn't bother me as long as it's not too far up in them doggone mountains. I'm good as long as you ain't too far up in them mountains. A 15 hour drive for me, so. And where you coming from, Mississippi? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's gonna be a. It's not that far from me, depending on where you at in Mississippi. It's not that, I mean, where you at in um, Virginia is not that far from me. So we'll uh, see how it right on the by Virginia Beach. How you think we're going to do this year, man? What, you, what, what, do you, what are your feelings on this year? Oh, man, I'm waiting for you to ask that. Uh, I really, I mean, without an upset, we should go on the field. But, uh, man, the only guy that really scares me is that Boston College game on a, on a uh, Friday night. 
I said something about that yesterday. Somebody asked me about Boston College. I said that's going to be a tough one. They always play us tough. Um, anybody who beat us this year besides Clemson will be an upset. So I don't want no excuses about anything. We, we got we got people who like to make excuses about, you know, this or that. And I'm the type of person. We got all the talent in the world. There's no reason why we should lose any games except for the Clemson game. That's the only game we should – we if we lost that I would that I would accept. Yeah, yeah. If we lose the Clemson, you know, we I mean never, nobody expects Miami to even, you know, score two two times on Clemson, you know what I mean? So yeah. if we if we uh, at least go toe to toe with them, that's an improvement from last year. But uh, but as far as losing to anybody, uh, Boston College is really the only one that I see. I don't see Virginia Tech because what all they got going on at Virginia Tech, you know, they get a lot of uh, suspensions and everything. And uh, I don't know. I just don't. And, and, I mean, LSU, their quarterback's questionable. This is going to be his first year playing, you know, for LSU under a new system. So, and, and Mark Rick, Mark Rick's going to, there's no reason Mark Rick can't outcoach uh, or Geron, the damn cooking monster. Nobody. I mean, just to lose him. I just don't want people making excuses for Rick if anything bad happens, because that's what that's what our fans tend to do in the beginning. And then what ends up happening is they'll make excuses for him all the way until the end of the year, and then everybody be screaming for his head. And I don't, I, I never want his head, but I do want a, nif- a different offensive coordinator. I've been saying that since day one, you know. Whether people agree or disagree with me, we'll see. Yeah. Time is, time is, time, time will tell this year, you know. Yeah, this year, I mean, it's the third year. I think really, uh, John Rick and uh, Stacy Sur- uh, Surreal, I think both of them should be on the chopping block. If <laughs> you I with mean, me, our, our offensive line, they haven't. I mean, they haven't even improved. We haven't recruited well in the offensive line, you know. And, and, you know, there's a lot of questions. A lot of people are raising their eyebrows right now. They're, they're wondering what the hell is going on with Stacey Surreal. Why ain't he getting the job done? People wondering about John Rick. If, you know, if he's just... He's not qualified. You know, he's not qualified for that position. No. You know, I mean... That's just flat out. I looked at his coaching tree. His um, where, he, where he's coached at. I forgot he's coaching NFL as, like, a graduate yeah. assistant or something. And then straight to Miami as a um, as a quarterback coach, one of the top position coach in college football, in any part of football as a quarterback. That's the top position coach. I mean, if you're the quarterback coach, you're with that guy every day. And they would they, they did a thing on Cam Newton the other day. His best two years, his best rankings, and his best two years at as him um, being a quarterback was when Ken Dorsey was the quarterback coach. So. I mean, he fell off after Ken Dorsey left. His completion percentage, his accuracy, all that fell off when Ken Dorsey left. I was telling people that, man. You know, so well, I thought years, he should have been there. Yeah, three years is, is plenty long enough to, you know, for the coaches to get settled in, for them to make a little bit of improvement on, on recruiting. I mean, we've been recruiting skill players, I mean, better than we have in years. But in the offensive line, we struggled there. For a while, and uh, we didn't struggle yeah. as bad though when when Jeff Fish and um, dang, uh, what's his name James Coley was calling plays. No, our offense I mean, was really good then. James Coley was the only coach that I thought that should have been uh, retained, you know, as far as all the coaches. Yeah, I, I really, I really did like what James Coley was doing. Me too. I mean, but, but I mean. I don't know, man. There's so many factors in there, everything as far as the quarterback and, and offense, everything. Like, uh, I think this year, if, if, like I said, if we don't improve dramatically on the offense, if we don't start seeing something from my, uh, Malik Rozier and the offensive line, I think uh, three years is plenty long enough. If they don't get it done this year, cut them loose. You know? Yeah, yeah, I, I feel like um, he should most definitely be – I don't, I don't, I don't want Rick to be fired, but I most definitely feel like he should be. Um, I most definitely feel like he should be relieved of play calling duties if, if this year doesn't go right. I'm all for giving him a shot this year. I'm all for that, but I'm also, I'm also, you know, holding people accountable. 
And if he don't get the job done, you know what I'm saying, this year as being a um as being a play caller, then I feel like it's time for him to um it's time for him to hang it up as a play caller and hire an offensive coordinator. That's just my opinion though. It's not everybody's opinion, it's just mine. So we'll see how that works. He can he can kinda Chop it up with everybody and relate to all the coaches. I mean, all the uh, players. You know, because he's young, just like them. But I feel like that that's, you know, the more of a reason why he's not going to let go because the players kind of like him. But you know, if you step back and you you look from a fan standpoint or from the hell even another coach's standpoint, I mean, and you can look at Nikosi Perry. You can look at uh, Cade Weldon. All of my backups, even Malik Rozier, you know, how inconsistent he is. There's a reason why Nikosi Perry or Cade Weldon hasn't taken over that job. There's a reason. The reason is that they're not being coached correctly, not being coached properly. That's, that's it. That's, that's it. But I've said because that, Cliff. This guy's got a higher skill set than, than uh, Malik Rozier. Malik Rozier is a baseball player, man. If Cliff. you cannot take the, If you cannot take the position from a baseball player, I don't know. Cliff, if you if you go watching back and watch my last five or six videos, everything that you said I've been saying. All you gotta oh, do is yeah. go back and watch them. Everything you said I've been saying. I'm dead. I mean, you don't have to. Well, I'm just saying. But if you don't believe me, everything you say, and Dorian sighing right now because Dorian was disagreeing with me on everything. Dorian, my brother, I love Dorian, man. Me and Dorian go at it. Somebody thought me and Dorian was like really feuding with each other. We just have two yeah. different point of views on on things, but I respect his point of view and he respect mine, you know, but we just have two different point of views on, on things, man, but I love him to death, but he wrong. Nah, you wrong, Dorian. <laughs> but, man, I, hey, Cliff, man, you lock my number. I mean, you got to talk after this because when you move to Virginia, we going to have to get up, man. I'm serious, man. I really missed you coming. I'm telling you, you go back and look, I'm telling you, I, I mentioned you. I was like, man, I don't know what happened to my brother, man. I'm telling you, I mentioned yeah. you now. I was like, good, I don't know what happened to Cliff. And I was just wondering what, what was going on with you. I don't know if I had tried to find you on Facebook. I know I, I might have commented on something. I don't remember, but I know I had been looking for you because I hadn't seen you in about two, three years. I didn't know what was going on with you. Yeah, I've been deep in, those deep in the, uh, Twitter and everything like that. I haven't really been going to YouTube for a whole lot of information. And I've been just sticking around with Twitter and seeing what the kids are saying, what the coaches are saying, what, what uh, you know, I'll... I'll Watch, uh, I, you know, because Cam Underwood and State of the U and all them, they're on Twitter, so yeah. I kind of get a little bit of insight on that. So I haven't really been going to YouTube. Check out, so, uh, um, check out Footballville on YouTube. See, I got something to know. Check out Footballville on yeah. YouTube. Um, check yeah. out Kane, check out Kane Shades Media. Um, they have a lot of insight on that as well. Um, I didn't even know that. I know, uh, yeah. Uh, again, yeah, oh, well. yeah they ha he has a media page now that like that's like he has a lot of I broke a lot of I broke a couple stories that did not get broke that 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 came that came my way from them guys man those guys are like really amazing Unk has a lot of um he has a lot of a lot of things he has some really good things going on over there with Kane Chase Media right now he's basically passed the torch to me on the YouTube thing I'm trying to get him to come back and do some things you know what I'm saying but he's He's kind of flipped the script a little bit and got very, very good and the uh, excellent in the the behind the scenes and getting all the correct information and doing it the right way, not the wrong way. That's one thing I love about Unk is he does everything when it comes to that that aspect of it the right way, you know. So check out Kane Shay's Media, man. They're, they're they're really good at what they do. All uh, right, let me ask you one more thing before we get off here. What's going on, my brother? What do you think the reason why Juan Grace not giving his quarterback staff for this uh, last scrimmage? Do you think okay. it's from getting you know, away his hands of truth that he doesn't want to tip off LSU with going on with that quarterback? I think, I do you think, think he's I just trying to hide the truth. I think, and I really believe that Malik is going to start, but I really believe that Nikoski is going to end up playing most of the game. I really believe that, yeah. I believe that Malik has it. I think the pressure is on Rick right now. Because the fans are really, really, really talking, you know, and the alumni are they're talking. They're like you. Um, Miami has always had talent, you know. And, and I explain to somebody, and people keep getting mad at me when I say this, 
But when Rick took over the program, when Rick took over the program, they said the offense was going to carry the defense for the next two or three years because the defense wasn't good and the offense was already good. This is what this is what the media said. This is what everybody said. Everybody said he can only improve on how great this offense was because the offense was. I keep telling people, Brad Kaya threw for five, over 500 yards against Florida State in Tallahassee. You know what I'm saying? So every and we lost that game barely. I think we lost that game on that last run by um. I don't know why I'm forgetting his name right now. Y'all know who that guy was down in Tallahassee. Uh, but at, they thought that the offense was just going to get better and they were going to carry us. But the last two years, the defense has actually carried us. No one expected that. The defense was supposed to be the worst part of this team. And it ended up being the best. And our special teams went down. Our offense went down. So now people are trying to figure out why is all these teams, why is it going down? Why are, these, why are they going down instead of going up? And that's that's on Coach Rick. He has to own that. So I think I think that he's I think he's hearing the I think he's hearing the rumbles. He can't he's not gonna get fired. You can't fire him. He's done too much for that program. He's done too much for that program. I respect Coach Mark Rick. I just feel like you can't micromanage situations. You have to put people in in, in positions to succeed. And I feel like he's kind of, he's if you want to be an office coordinator, then be an office coordinator. Don't be a head coach. No, no, you don't be bold. That, that's 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 very rare. I know there's coaches that do it, but it's a rare thing. And if you do it, you better succeed. You better succeed. Yeah, I, I will give that to Mark Rick. He has he has done more for the program than the past four coaches combined, four head coaches combined. You know. I kind of give Golden. I kind of give Golden a pass though. I kind of give Golden a pass. Because he had the sanctions, he had the sanctions he had to deal with. But look at look at it in this way, Cliff. I explained to somebody yesterday, and he was like, "I never looked at it that way. Look at it this way. What what got Al Golden fired? What got Al Golden fired? Everybody know what got Al Golden fired, right? It was him not wanting to fire his brother-in-law because he was trash as defense coordinator. Uh, yeah, that's what got him fired. Because it wasn't because of the offense. It wasn't because of the play calling. It was because of none of that. It was because our defense was so trash, and we kept playing prevent defense, right? And people, because we were putting points up, right? So pe people were upset about that. Just imagine if Al Golden would have had Manny Diaz as his defensive coordinator and James Coley as the offense coordinator. You think he'd still have a job right now? Uh, he would. Because oh, we, 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 we won eight games. His best year, we won eight games. Mark Rick only won 10 in his best. I mean, you see what I'm saying? And that's with the defense being so great and the offense being so poor. You see what I'm saying? Th that's what I mean. It's like it's not like it's not like Rick just blew. You know what Rick did? Rick endured to the fans, and he also endured to the to the alumni. He let the former players come back. You know what I'm saying? So he did things that the Miami way and Golden didn't. But if you're just looking at X and O's and all that. If Golden would have hired Manny Diaz instead of Martin Offer, he would still have a job. Just the same thing that's going on, the same thing that's going on with Rick right now, being stubborn, wanting to call plays, and I think it's passing by, is why he's in trouble right now. And he's in trouble in his third year. He's already feeling the heat. What was uh, Al Golden at Miami for what, four years? Yeah, he was there. He was there, but he was there. He was there under the first two years was really bad on. They were talking about giving us a death penalty the first two years he was there. Yeah, he he yeah, had yeah. he he had every he had everything. Somebody telling me Golden was garbage. I'm trying to figure out how. I don't think he was garbage. He was set up to fail. I didn't like Golden. I was ready for him to go. But if you look at the totality of everything, he was set up to fail. He was set up to yeah, fail. You gotta think. You gotta think this too. Who put those coaches there, though? You know? No, I'm saying set up to fail by the sanctions. I'm saying set up to fail by the sanctions and yeah. everything that was going on there. I don't think – I mean, we should have never hired Al Golden to begin with. I agree. Because he didn't have a strong enough resume. You know, he came from Temple, you know. I agree who with you. Pull, who is he going to pull as a head coach from Temple to help, uh, help out Miami? I agree with you 110%. I never wanted him. But I'm just playing, yeah. devil, I'm just playing devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? I mean, just because I don't like him don't mean that that he wasn't it like I gotta say, his offense was better than the offense. I agree with you, Terry. 
I agree with see Terry. Terry talking about D'Onofrio. And I'm 100% with him. Remember I said that, right? That's what I said, Cliff, right? He didn't fire D'Onofrio. I said if he would have had Manny Diaz, he would probably still have a job. You know what they'd be talking about him right now? Can he win the big one? Not can he win 10 games. It'd be like, can he win the big one? Because if he'd had Manny Diaz, he would have won 10 games. With Manny Diaz and James Coley, oh, they would have won 10 games. He, <laughs> he, he said Al. You said you said Al Golden wasn't a good recruiter. See, somebody texted that just said Al Golden wasn't a good recruiter. When you yeah. All right, but he was in the top twenty-five. Yeah, but we were under sanctions every single year, and he was still in the top twenty-five. Florida State was killing us. They were talking trash about us. They were. Florida was killing us. Alabama was killing us. Y'all don't want to go to Miami because they're going to be on the death penalty. They're about to lose their program. They were killing us with that. People don't, people, people look at stuff, but they don't, they don't really look at stuff. You can't recruit well when you're under sanctions. You can't. It's impossible. No one does. It's hard to get. I mean, it, it has a little bit to do with that, and it all, I, I believe it has a lot to do with us losing. As main games, we lost uh, Florida State. You know? Oh yeah, but we was on the limited. We was on the limited. Oh yeah, but we were on the limited scholarships. We had scholarship reductions. It's like second year there. Well, he had scholarships reductions. His second year there. Remember they 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 forfeited the ACC the ACC um championship game. His second year yeah. there, they forfeited that. You know what I'm saying? To help to help alleviate. The scholarship problem to help to help um, alleviate the, the punishment from the NCAA. All those things happen. We can't act like those things didn't happen, and those were huge. Those are huge. I mean, people just because you don't like somebody, don't mean that you don't look at everything the, to, the total, totality of the situation. Trying to trying to get that out. You know, Mark Rick never had sanctions in Georgia. Mark Rick always had all his scholarships at Georgia. He had everything set up for him at Georgia. He was in the weakest conference in Georgia, in the SEC, and he still couldn't get done. But we make every excuse for him. Oh, he lost to, he lost to, he lost to Nick Saban. He lost to Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer hadn't even been coaching as long as he had been coaching. Urban Meyer had just got to the SEC and won two championships. Missouri just got to the SEC East and won the East back-to-back -back years with Georgia was in it. But we make every excuse for a guy that we like and a guy that we don't like, we just throw him under the bus. There's no excuses that can be made for him. You see what I'm saying? People got to, people got to get out of their feelings when it comes to stuff like that. I, I see comments in the chat right now where people talking about Golden was this. I didn't want Golden. I was glad he fired. I did a celebration video when he was fired. But yeah. the yeah, truth is... Clemson, Clemson was one of my favorite games that I watched the past decade. Mm -hmm. That Clemson game where we got blown out. Answer because this. of, you know, that, that, was, uh, the, that was a nail in the last nail in the coffin. You know what I mean? All right, now, now we go to Clemson this year and get beat 38 to nothing, really. That three points don't even count to me. We go right. to the ACC Championship game this year and get beat 38 to nothing by a coach that's way better, right? Yeah, by a coach that's supposed to be way better, right? With more talent on the roster than Al Golden had, right? What's the excuse for that? No excuse. My point. And he quit on us on the goal line when he should have went for a touchdown. He went for. I would have respected it more if he didn't uh, get the touchdown. I don't know. Yeah, that field goal. Whenever you're down by that much, that makes no sense. I would have respected mean, him more by going for it. That's just you just trying to keep it from being a blowout. You know, that's not trying to fight like the win. You know it I mean? was a blowout regardless. That that's one thing that I've seen, uh, uh, and we've caught a lot of, you know, warnings you know, from I'm Georgia fans about it. how Mark Rick, he's not aggressive enough, you know. He, does, he doesn't like, he, he doesn't go for a kill. Whenever you got somebody down by two scores, he lets up. Yeah. You know. You know, you yeah. know the, 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 what they, what's the main thing that's said about football players? They take on the personality, a basketball player, any sport. They say what they do, they take on the personality of their head coach, right? That's what they say. Take on the personality of their coach. Our defense taking on the personality of Manny Diaz right now. That's what they're doing. They're dogs.
Manny Diaz is a dog. He don't oh, care. Yeah. He's a dog. And I didn't want him. I, I, Monica, Monica complained about him getting hired. And I take everything well, back. Me from Mississippi, I heard it and heard it and heard it about Manny Diaz. You know, people, they, they were warning me about it. They were like, yeah, you know, Manny Diaz, he's a good coach. He, and he's an aggressive coach. And it's either going to hurt you or it's going to help you. You know, rushing, all, you know, as many times as he does. You know, it's going to set up for big plays for your opponent, you know. And but if you had an athlete, if you had athletes, Miami guys, it's going to help, help you more than hurt you. Yeah, yeah. We got enough depth and everything, enough skilled players and that cornerback and safety and everything that if we get enough people in that pocket with that quarterback and that quarterback scrambling around, he's going to make a mistake. And it showed last year, mm -hmm. you know. Just I think we were second in, in total turnovers in defense. Just, in the whole nation. just think about it, man. With three freshmen at linebacker, we was one of the best defenses in the nation. Yep. And, and not to mention, we got rid of, what was it, two or three players? Yeah. On, on that defensive line for that damn. Star players. Huh? Star players. Yeah. And they said that, and they used no excuses for Manny Diaz. Anytime Manny Diaz call a bad call or a bad play, they blame him. Even though he's playing with freshmen and sophomores, they blame him. Yeah. But Coach Rick make a bad play, they blame the offensive line and the quarterback. Well, see, me, this is the way I look at it as far as Mark Rick calling plays. Because I watched, I watched a real, you know, real plus last year and the year before, you know. And I'm wondering, because we've seen him pull a couple of plays out the we haven't seen in a long time, you know, a lot of trick plays and everything where, you know, you had uh, one of the practice there and you're throwing to Malik Rozier and stuff like that. I, I haven't seen any of that. It was crazy, you know, and I was like, I, that right there got me excited. Which I'm not seeing him, so everybody was wondering, when's he going to open up the playbook? When's he going to open up the playbook? I, I kept telling everybody, and I kept defending him on this because I'm like, you got to look at what he's got as quarterback. You gotta limit your playbook a little bit because your quarterback can't do half the stuff you're wanting him to do because his skill's not there. Yep. So I'm kind of I'm kind of wondering if we get another quarterback in like the Coach Perry or Dave Wells or, or Jared Williams, if we can have them in there. There's no excuse then. I'm giving him a pa I'm giving Mark Wood the benefit of the doubt until we get a player with a higher skill set. You, you know why I'm not. You know why I'm not, though? Because we have that player and he won't put them in. And I would actually, me as a fan, if if Perry or Cade Weldon or, or, or Jaron Williams got in and failed, I would actually be happier. I would be like, you know what? At least at least those guys got in. You know, I want to see them get in. I would give them more of a break then. I would give them more of a break if those guys played and we lost with those guys. I would give him more of a break than we losing with a baseball player. I played baseball and I played football my entire life. Okay, in and out of high school, uh, out of high school and, and all the way to junior high and middle school. I've been in baseball, I've been in football. Everybody knows that if you're in, you, if you're big in the sports. And improved. I'm not disagreeing with you, Joe, but there's two totally different circumstances, man. You got a guy who's Al Golden who came from Temple who had no pull across the country and then came into a situation where we were they were talking about the death penalty. And then you got a guy that's coming in with a clean slate with no scholarship reductions who's already a big-time name coming out of University of Georgia and already a Miami guy. So why we only got two extra wins and why the offense is worse? You making my point for me, Joe. Go ahead, Cliff. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I feel the same way you do as far as putting in the coach to say, I'd rather one of them take take over as quarterback and take a step back. You know, I, you know uh, I'd rather win eight games with the coach Perry than win ten with Malik Rozier. I agree with you. We, because he needs to get – it's either the coach to say, Jaron Williams, or Cade Weldon. I'm not going to – I mean, Cade Weldon, nobody really talks about him. 
And without actually being there and seeing the kid and everything, I'm, I'm just like all the rest of the fans. I'm just going based off stats. So I'm going to give him a little bit of a chance, too. All three K of can play. One of them, one of them is going to be our future like quarterback. And one of them needs to have in-game experience to better themselves. K, the thing about it is, I fly, kill him, man, to kill that damn fly. K can play. K yeah. Weldon can ball. I'm serious. I've watched him play. He can play. I just want to see one of those young guys, like you said, man, get it, get an opportunity, man. Because, bro, I'm not with this, like you say, 10 wins this year, which we should be 12 and 0 going into the ACC championship game. If we're not 12 and 0, it's, it's, it's almost like a failed season to me, man. At least 11 and 0. I can give a toss up to the first game of the season in Texas, in, 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 um, in, in Jerry's world. I can give a toss up to that because it's not like we playing, it's not like we playing, um, Bethune, man. LSU is a monster, man. LSU got players. I know I talk about their fans. You never hear talk about their team. I talk about their fan base, but I, I actually like LSU. I've always liked the time. I like Louisiana. I've been there a bunch. I like New Orleans. I've been there a bunch. I have, I, actually, if there's any school in college football that I would compare to Miami, it would be Louisiana. It would be LSU. Just with their own. They have their own swagger. They have their own. Everything is, is Louisiana. You know, LSU. Everything is basically New Orleans set up. So I have nothing against LSU. If it's any team I would compare that Miami, it would be LSU in, in the way that they're different from every college team in college football. You know what I'm saying? So, I yeah, mean, they're that... They're kind of in the same situation. They got a good defense. We got a good defense. They got a questionable, you know, offensive line. We got a questionable offensive line. They got a questionable quarterback. But I, we got a quarterback that we know something about, but we're not happy with what we've already seen. So, we're kind of like, well... USC, too. USC. I'm listening. You know? But uh, yeah, I'm I'm just like you though. I think that they we need to get somebody in there, get the feet wet, and see how he does. Because I I mean, not everybody. I think if we just release uh, Nikosi Perry and just say here, here's the ball, do what you got to do, get us a win. Hey Cliff, yeah, some players. Yeah. What I want to do with you, you need to call me. What I want to yeah. do with you is I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a definitely. I already got one with the wholesome one this year, and I got a couple more set up, one or two more set up, and I needed one more. And I was trying to figure out who I was going to use for a segment every week. I need to use you. We're going to get set up so I can do the um, video cam. I need to use you as a segment because the reason why is your insight is just, like, phenomenal. So I want to get you on every week and have you, have you do a segment on what you feel about what player – you know, so you, you pick out whether or not you want to do offense or defense or both. It don't matter to me. But I want you to do I want to do a segment. I want to get your advice every week um, before and after a game. All right. Serious. Yeah. Serious. I, I really want to do that because I, I, I'm, I'm, you, I've never talked with you on air. This, I'm just doing live videos starting last year. I never talked with you on air. I've always talked with you off the phone. And your insight yeah. is, like, incredible. So I, I I I like I like to have you have you be a part of, a part of the show, man. Yeah, yeah. Anytime you just uh, hit me up, you know, send me a text or anything, and I I'll see what I, what I'm doing. You know, I may be at work, I may not. But nope. Once I get up there in Virginia, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, purchase the laptop and everything, with a camera and and all that. So we'll be able to I can be on the phone or what whatever and and be watching the screen too. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's. Kind of, that's what I want to do. I want to have you on for a segment because I like your insight. I like I like what you um what you brought today. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I definitely want to have you on as a segment. You know what I'm saying? To um yeah. to give different, not just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I like I like having different opinions. Um, yeah. The wholesome one always. I hate having him on because he's too damn smart. He annoys me. He too smart. That's my little brother. He's just too smart. He knows. No, see, I'm not. I'm not being that saying that to be. A, he a smart guy. No, he actually his his stats and everything is just like. I'd be like, man, whatever. Shut up. I don't want to talk to you no more. Cause he kills me all the time. <laughs> what, what, what he talk about? Cause he, he just he just understands the game and he plays it right now. So I I, I love having him on. And I, I love having you on. I just want to have guys on that can really, really bring a different type of, bring something different to the table than what I'm bringing every week. You know what I'm saying? Uh, see, me, 
football doesn't stop. It's, it's 365 days a year. If you talk to my, if you talk to my uh, fiance and you asked her about me and football, she would tell you how many times I woke her up with my phone light on next to her sleeping in the bed looking up recruiting. You know, <laughs> it doesn't stop with me. You know, and Miami Hurricanes football. That's uh, that's that's my life. You know what I mean? I don't really care about NFL. I follow my players. But I don't necessarily have a favorite team in the NFL. But as far as games football, it's 365 days out of the year. I'll tell you, you know what. what? Me and you gonna have to make a game this year, even if it's a, even if it's a smaller game. I got I got season tickets. I mean, you have to make a game this year if you can if you can make it down here. Yeah, yeah. I, hey, you know, I plan on I plan on flying down for the Florida State game, and I will be at the Virginia Virginia Tech game for sure. And uh, but yeah, we can even go to a small game. I don't care. Just let me know. Just let me know. I appreciate it, Cliff. Text text me all your info, Cliff, so I can make sure that it's you. And everything, so I can get everything situated. Man, I appreciate it, brother. Man, I'm glad to have you on today, man. Ain't no problem. All right, thank All right, you. Thank you, you too, Cliff. Thanks, man. All right. Hey, um, whoever that is, uh, Discus Con or whatever that is, hey, I'm, I'm gonna give you a warning this time on that comment that you did right there. We don't do that, man. So next time you block. So I'm giving you a warning this time. Next time, y'all, okay? Don't do that, man. All right? And um, and and uh, Jim Chick, I don't know if y'all are trolls or whatever, cause I've never seen y'all over here. That comment is is real bad too. So you'll be blocked. I'm late. I, I do read my comment section. So y'all two guys will be blocked. We're not playing that over here. I don't know where y'all come from. I don't know what's going on, but you will be blocked playing with me like that. All right? We don't do that, man. That's This is a football channel. This ain't no little kid. We don't do kid stuff over here. Just letting you guys know that, man. So you will be blocked if you continue to act like kids. You know what I'm saying? And I got my cup from Miss K. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Cliff Webb. Y'all don't remember me speaking about Cliff a few weeks ago, man. Y'all got to go back and check the archives, man. I talked about Cliff a few weeks ago, man. All right, that's it. I'm I'm muting people, man. I'm muting people. I'm for I'm muting people. I'm not I'm not doing that, man. And really see you. I know people that's really about that life. So stop acting like you about that life, man. Like this clown right here. Uh, what's his name? I mean, serious, man. Y'all y'all joke is stupid, man. Y'all mama must really uh. Y'all mama was really hate y'all. Serious, man. So you now, now you're muted, Mr. 6ix9ine. So, people don't realize the beautiful thing about me doing these live videos is, bro, I don't have to put up with that. I will mute you and get rid of you. You will be done. I don't. I don't. We don't get trolls over here, man. I pay attention, but you, when you really not about that life, you really not about that life. So stop acting like you about something you not. I'm from that neighborhood. All right. I didn't like the way he called plays in the FSU game. No, I didn't. I didn't like it. I feel like we should have blowed FSU out. Remember, the next week they got blowed out real bad. I feel like we should have blowed them out. No problem, Jason, man. I don't like punks, man. Can't stand cowards, man. I don't like cowards, man. I don't. I won't block LSU fans. Those fans weren't LSU fans. Those fans were straight cowards. I don't know who those, those were trolls, man. Somebody sent them over here. I think it might be... It might be somebody who's trying to sabotage my page that sent them over here, but I pay attention, so it is what it is. What's going on, Liberty City? Hey, Lib hey, I might set you up. You let me know. I might set you up to monitor that for me. If you got time. I need to set somebody up to do that, do that monitoring for me and, and, and get rid of those dummies. Rick has a, a tendency to doing a lot of that, man. 
I don't know what's going on with it sometimes. If you run that Liberty, call me. Get my number. Give me a call, man. I'll set you up so you can run that for me. I don't know what's going on. Now, he, he talked in the first scrimmage, Fred. I have no idea, man. He talked in the first scrimmage, but I don't know what he was really talking about, Fred. I'm serious, man. I have no idea what he was really talking about, man. Give who a chance? Who you trying to? Who you want me to give a chance to, um, um, Joe? I want you to. I want you to say who you want me to give him a chance to, so I can respond to that question. So I'm waiting for you to ask me. I'm waiting for you to finish that, man. What's going on, Big Will? You want me to give Rick a chance, right? Rick has had 15, 16 seasons to have a chance. I explain this every time that somebody say, give Rick a chance. People talk trash about the offensive line, and they kids, and they don't want to give them a chance, right? I, I hear it all the time. Give Rick a chance. Give Rick a chance. Give. He's been a head coach for 17 seasons. I'm a welder. No matter where I go, I'm going to be good because I've been doing it for 24 years. He's been a head coach for 17 seasons. Our offense got worse when he took over, not better, worse. To me, this is last year calling plays. Why isn't our offense, why isn't our offense at least as good as it was under Jeff Fitch? Why isn't it at least as good as it was under um under James Coley? I watched Mark Rick up here at Georgia continuously lose to teams he's not it's not execution, it's play calling, man. It is it's a combination of both. It's a combination of both. But his play calling is so predictable, it's unbelievable. He doesn't even use the tight ends. And he doesn't use the tight ends. I'm like, what are we doing? Bro, I'm all, bro, I'm as SEC fans. I don't see improvement. What improvement you seen last year? The reason why we won 10 games last year was because of our defense. We shouldn't even be in that situation last year. We were number one in turnovers. We were number one in turnovers and number last in the country in points off of turnovers. Joe, I can guarantee you if Manny Diaz was the co was the defensive coordinator when Al Golden was there, we would have won 10 games. I bet you that. It's obviously not depth on offense because offense been trash. How come... Hey, Joe, you keep asking me these questions, right? Why is it that why is it that our offense got worse and our defense got better? Why is it that? I tell you what, all these um We got a lot. We got a lot of um, a lot of disrespectful people out here. But I have no idea who you are. I want to call in three minutes, Mister. I have no idea who you are, so I don't know if I'm gonna accept your call. Cause we got some real trolls in the building right now. Anybody that don't have a picture on their page, I might not accept anything from. I, I you love me, man. I, I I don't remember seeing you on this channel before. So I got the monitor of my channel today. We got some people. We got some people acting stupid, so it is what it is.
Yeah, they internet rappers. Hey, that's my homeboy. Hey, Travis, man. I, I tried to call you back last night too, man. I got in the barber shop, man. It got a little distracted, but I tried to hit you back last night, and I text you, let you know that that was my number calling. You know what I'm saying? I need to holler at you about some stuff too. I need me some security when I come to Miami. Need my boy Trap to help me out, man. I need some security. <laughs> Travis, my dude, man. Travis be getting in. Travis, 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 my dude, man. I like Trap. You got me five subs last week. I appreciate that. You call in there. Hey, favorite. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, we got 500 on the Facebook now. Raymond, what's good with you, man? Hey, I don't know if Dorian got off, man. Dorian been quiet a little bit. I don't know if he got off. Raymond, what's good with you, man? You can call in if you got me five subs last week. I appreciate that. People be getting mad at me, man, because I be on um, the number on the, the number in the chat. You can get the number out of the chat. I'm telling you, I hang up on you if you try some crazy stuff. Um, I got you, Liberty. Hey, Liberty, text me. Text me your info so I can send you everything. All right. Text me your info. I ain't gonna send all that out on the wire. Shout out to it. That's right. Shout out to the ATL Facebook page, man. I posted that today in the group, man. Hey, I'm telling y'all, y'all think I'm playing, man. There's gonna be some real stuff when it comes down to this. Um, when it comes down to this challenge that we're doing, man. I got to have my boy back on here. You know what I'm saying to talk about that, man. You know what I'm saying. He's not on the hot seat this year. Rick is on the hot seat for play calling this year. Hey man, I be I be I be getting kind of I got I don't be wanting you to leave the chat, man. Dorian be keeping me going. My 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 boy, my boy Dorian be keeping me going. Fred my Fred my little brother, Fred 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 my little brother, him and Kay. Um, Jay Blaze my spiritual leader. I got everything over here, man. Um, Liberty City that's my big brother. That's my big brother, and that's my that's my um. That's my, my 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 mentor. You know what I'm saying? I got everybody over here, man. Travis, that's my head of security. Y'all gotta um buy a t-shirt. I'm just like, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm, playing. <laughs> I'm playing, man. Tom, what's 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 um I forgot her name. I'm so sorry, I forgot her name. But she ordered some T-shirts for me yesterday, man, and she was just so, so she she blessed me so much, man. That's something he ain't gonna do, Travis. Mark Rick is never gonna run a score up. That's not in his DNA. He don't like doing stuff like that. He's too nice. I got you, Kevin. Do I think Rogier will play the second half? I don't know, man. I think if Perry gets in there and does his thing, if they if they do it, if he gets in there and does his thing, I don't think he will. I put my number on, man. If you want to call me, call me. But if you play any games with me, I'm gonna come see you. We'll see. I'm not. I'm not sure about that, George. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out to, to, to see about that, man. He is too laid back, man. I, I don't like him as a play call. He's not aggressive enough, man. He got mad at the referees. That was the first time I seen that dude screaming his whole life. You need a two X and S though. Hey, everybody, hit me up on the Facebook page, right? And I will give you my cash app because I do everything by order. I don't have anything in the house. I do everything by order, and I pay a little more because of that, but I don't want to stock up on a whole bunch of shirts and stuff that I don't have. So shirts and hats, like I say, 2X would be like 24. Uh, XL would be 22. Hats are uh, 14. So guys, let me know what you want. Hit me up on the Facebook page, and let me know what you want on the 1219 Facebook page. Let me know what you want. I promise you I'll get it to you. I need to sell these anyway because they're going to help me travel this year. 
Plus, I like the way they look, man. They, they authentic, man. And I got some different ones coming, too. And I got the black hat, and I got the black shirt, and I got the white hat, and I got the white shirt. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm doing some different things this year, man. I promise you, we're going to be... We gonna be good, and I'm doing a breast cancer awareness this year too. That's gonna to say Alonzo, uh, equal Alonzo one two one nine equals attitude personified, um, and then it's gonna be pink with the breast cancer awareness logo on it, and we're gonna send those over to the Susan G Foundation. So we're gonna do some big things this year, and we're gonna do a um a spousal abuse, and we're gonna do one for the military as well. You know, we do some things, man, to make sure that we give back to the people that's given to us, man. You know? Thanks, Travis. Appreciate it, man. Nah, you don't have to give me a... Hey, if you, if you subscribe to the Facebook page, man, you get all the information, man. Yeah, he's never... Rick has never felt pressure like this. He's used to getting his way. Georgia fans have never put the pressure on their Miami fans and the fan base is putting on them. At least I know I'm not alone in this, though. No, he didn't have the same pressure at Georgia. Because if he had the same pressure at Georgia, he wouldn't be going into his third year already feeling the heat that he's feeling right now. Took him 15 years to get him out of Georgia. It won't take 15 years at Miami. I can promise you that. He's never felt this type of pressure. I'm telling you, George, you can say what you want to say. He ain't never felt this type of pressure. That's real talk. Tiger Woods in second place. I, I, that came out of nowhere. I ain't. Hope he can win a tournament. He ain't won one in 200 years. You know what, though? It could be. The wheels could be falling off FSU. I don't, I mean, for LSU, I don't know. All I know is the wheels need to be falling forward at Miami. We need to be winning these games, period, point blank. No more beating teams that we supposed to beat and then losing the teams that, and eh, so-so. Who did we really beat good last year? That was really good. Except for Notre Dame. And they weren't really good. We exposed them, but... I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you like my perspective, man. I'm just a little different, man. I'm just a little bit different from I I I I got hated when people try to compare me to other um YouTube bloggers and analysts, man. I'm not that I'm not those people. I'm me. And every every at, at the end of every game, I'm gonna be here to take on every challenge. I'm, I'm gonna be here at the end of every single game doing a live video. To take on what people, what people may think about me, it doesn't matter. I do things different, man. I speak from the heart, not from a, not from a, um, a spreadsheet, man. All right. Rapper step to me. They want to get some, but I'm the king, so yo, you know the outcome. Another victory. You can't get with me. So take a BCD, cause you're a history. You don't know about that cane, man. You don't know about that big daddy came? Step up to me. That's a wrong rule. It's what you want, huh? Dope or dog food. You don't know about that big daddy came. The B I G D A W D Y K E N E. Add Jermaine. I, I, I forgot how he said it. Y'all got me messed up. Y'all don't know about that big daddy came, man. I know about that there, man. <laughs> I know about that big daddy came, bro. I heard somebody put big daddy came in the home. The comment section. That was, that, was, that was one of my idols back in the days, man. That's right. I was one of my idols back in the days, man. And as a Florida Gator, all I can say, I'm glad every coach that y'all got. 
I'm glad y'all got every coat. What's going on, Miss K? I'm glad y'all got every coat that y'all got now. I'm glad that y'all going through all the struggles and all the, the drama that y'all going through right now. I'm glad your school kicked your kids, your graduating kids off of the stage because they were happy that they graduated. I'm glad your school kicked them off stage and threatened to arrest them at the University of Florida. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad that y'all ran from us like a bunch of mitches. That's everything I'm happy for the University of Florida. Steve Harvey, all right, now you're blocked. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, I'm not playing with you clowns, man. Thank you. Yeah, I remember last time we played LSU, we got the brakes beat off us. We definitely did. Got beat down pretty bad, man. Yeah, Facebook, George, man, these boys are out of control, man. I hate these internet gangsters, man. They piss me off. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is with these fake, with these fake thugs. Oh, man. All right, I'm about to I'm about to get off this chat. Cause I actually been on for how long we been on for? I don't know how long we been on for. We been on for over an hour, man. So um, I'm gonna ask once again if I can, you know, what I'm saying some people can help your boy out. It takes Florida and Florida State to put their national titles together to beat us by one. It takes Florida and Florida State to put their national titles together to beat us by one. I got you, I got you. Um, so I don't, I, that, 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 that's how I feel about that. Well, the Gators have had a new coach every year for the past three, four years, man. Y'all always have a new coach. Y'all have more coaches than y'all have team helmets. Y'all have more coaches then, 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 um, then y'all have alumni. I don't know how many more coaches y'all need, man. How many more coaches y'all need down in Georgia, man? George, you my dude, man. You know I'm going to go at you. You the only Florida Gator fan I respect right now, except for my cousin them down in Florida. Raymond, just hit me on um the Alonzo1219 Facebook page or just inbox me. You can inbox me, man. And I and I give you all the information on the t-shirts. All you gotta do is let me know and I got you. T-shirts and hats. I need to sell some of these hats too. But t-shirts and hats, man. I wanna see some people flossing for me. Man. I wanna see y'all out there. Ew. Ah. I'm lost on that one.
Because people, people hate. I don't even watch the Dolphins right now, though, man. I don't watch no NFL football right now. I'm still boycotting. I'm still boycotting. I'm boycotting NFL. That's right. And people know why I'm boycotting. So it is what it is. I don't wear Jordans. I wear Adidas. I wear Pharrell's. I'm with Jordans. I don't watch it because of the bad product. I watch it. I don't watch it because it's too much BS and racism that goes on in the NFL. So I stay away from it because I get in my feelings and I start saying stuff and I start pissing people off. So it's best for me just to leave it alone. So I leave the NFL alone. I watch the NBA. I ain't watched NFL all last year. Shoot. Don't want me to get started. I'll lose 5,000 subs today and I ain't even got 5,000. I'd be in a negative 50. I'd be in a negative 50 right now when it comes to subscribers. I love to see Alabama, but I, you know what? I don't want to see Alabama, Miami in a, um, in a, in a, Jay, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'll be in a negative 50. I don't want to see Alabama and Miami in a, in a neutral site Alabama game. Because the neutral site game in Alabama is going to be in the Georgia Dome in Atlanta where Alabama is only an hour from and Miami got to drive 10 hours. So I don't want to see a neutral site Alabama-Georgia game. If they do an Alabama, I want to see Alabama home at home. I'm so sick of these SEC, excuse my French, bullshit-ass schedule, uh, 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 whatever they want to call them, neutral site games. I hate that with a passion. I don't know when they came with that. Yeah, I curse today because I hate the SEC with a passion. Because I hate the way they do these neutral site games. They're the only ones who do this, man. They're the only. You think about it. No one else in the country does neutral site games except for except for the SEC. I hate that with a passion. You ain't got to do that. Yeah, I, I believe you on that, Liberty City. But what about the Canes family? What about the, the the people who actually go to go to the schools at Miami? Not just that, I lose a ticket for that. For that, you know what I'm saying? I lose a ticket. For, I don't get. I don't get to go to that game. That should be a home game for me too. I shouldn't have to pay extra for a neutral site game. I gotta pay extra. I got season tickets. And you tell me I gotta pay extra for a neutral site game? I got season tickets. But I have to pay extra to go to a neutral site game. Come on, that's stupid, man. I don't, I don't, that make no sense to me. So it, it's stupid. And then it's so far away, man. Yeah, the SEC the only one that does that garbage, man. The, the ESPN is way biased, man. They're so biased, man. It's ridiculous. Man, I can't. St I don't even watch it. I watch me because I ain't biased. I don't just talk about Miami Hurricanes. You know what I'm saying? I get everybody credit, not just Miami. Oh, let me stop lying. I'm biased on that. But whatever. <laughs> but I'm a Miami blogger, so I'm supposed to be biased. Not ESPN. Hey, Miss K, you see my cup? You ain't got to drive 10 hours. I enjoy going. I drive eight hours every game. Enjoy it. Have fun. Thank you. I told you everything. This is my favorite cup. I drink everything out of this. Yep. I don't get into that queue. I have no idea what newcomer's going to break out because I don't know. I never know, and I'm glad I don't because I'm glad I'm glad to be shocked when it happens. I like to see them grow, and then when I when I look for a newcomer, then I put too many I put too many expectations on them, and then a lot of times you root for him more than you root for another person. So I don't I don't do that.
Man, that was almost before I was going when Charlie, born when Charlie Ward playing football. I was supposed to be getting off, man. Y'all still got me on. Why y'all still got me on? I was supposed to be getting off. So, let me see something. Uh oh, I got one. I got one. I got one person subscribed while I was while I was talking. I'm blowing up now. <laughs> I'm out of control, man. Hey, I'm done, man. I, I don't ran out of things to talk about, so I'm not about to just sit here and hold y'all, man. Hey, it's been a long chat, a minute twelve, a minute uh, one hour twelve minutes. So I'm probably going um. I will, Miss K. Thank man. You, Miss K is always here for me. Thank you. Hey, Fred, where my sister at? Where my other sister at? Somebody asking about some good food in Dallas. I have no idea because I'm not in Dallas, so I have no idea. Um, all right, man. Everybody good, man. My nephew real good, man. I appreciate that, Jay. Everybody good. I'm going to try to give you a call tonight. I'm about to go out here. I got to run to the store and grab me some milk for my cereal in the morning. So, man. I didn't even see the Ray Lewis speech. I'm not even going to lie to you. Ray Lewis pissed me off last year, too. Him and Michael Irvin. So, I didn't even see the speech. I'm not going to lie to you. Mike pissed me off this year. Ray pissed me off last year. People seem to forget where they come from. And that seems to annoy me. I hate it when you finally make it, when you finally make it, and you forget who the freak you are. That that really annoys me. Don't forget where you come from. Don't forget where you are. You always try to build. You always try to build on your legacy, but you never do that by stepping on other people. Because that's not man things, man. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see the speech. Maybe I need to go watch it because I'm still on my feelings from last year. But what I'm telling you is, and I mean this, you never step on people to get ahead. You never step on people. You hear me? You live your life and you live it respectfully. Your honor is all you got. When you lose that, you have nothing else. Man. You have nothing left. That's it. I never lose that. They can't, they can't buy me. All right? Because I am who I am. I am whatever you say I am. And if it wasn't, then why would I say I am? In the papers, the news, every day I am. <laughs> hey, man, love you guys, man. That's it, man. I'm out now. Excuse me, baby, baby.